Today in Washington, D.C., we are going to do a tour of the Capitol building. Online it says cameras are allowed, so we're going to try to film it. We got our reservation through our senators, so Marco Rubio in Florida. And as long as you go to a senator's website, you can get a tour. We know someone that works for him, and so we were able to get a tour for just us four. So more of a private tour. But if you go onto his website, you can request to get a tour and they send you information about it. But for this tour, it should just be us. They said it's about an hour to an hour and a half. So we'll see what it's like. Let's go check it out. Now it says the tour begins in the Russell Senate building, room 284. So first time here, we're just gonna try to figure out where that's at. Best we can tell, I think we have to continue going this way. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, that says Russell right there. So this is the building. Cool. So yeah, the Russell Senate office building is where we are at. You are here, going to here, and then I guess we'll just, they'll take us around. Here's the Supreme Court, Jefferson Building, which Library of Congress will end up doing a separate tour of that. Cool. It says, visitor members and staff entrance, Monday through Friday, seven to eight, members and staff, seven to 10. Some rules. Now someone just stopped and helped us and said we can go around the building and there's an entrance over here that'll take us right up to the second floor. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep walking this way. As we're walking, you can see the Capitol. It says this entrance is closed. So we still need to keep walking this way. Look at all these columns they have. Looks like maybe this is where we enter. Not sure what we can film. They usually don't let you do it at the security. Here we have a directory listing. Two eighty four. Marco Rubio, two eighty four. Again, I don't know what we're allowed to film. We'll ask our person when we get there. Look at these gold elevators. Currently heading to two eighty four. This is what each of the halls look like. I will say this place is massive. We're almost there though. 282, so 284, which is going to be Senator Marco Rubio. So they said just hang out here and um, they'll have somebody out shortly. So we do have Chris, he's gonna be our tour guide. And they said you can take videos, photos, do whatever you need to do. We're heading down to the trolley to take it to the Capitol building, and then we do have some passes to go to a uh, live voting going on right now. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this. This is underground. Look at this. This is pretty cool. All the brick on the walls, this is awesome. The Senate Library. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, and then we come over to this room. Old Senate Office Building Subway Car. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, and then here's a subway you take. A little rail car. Now we're heading to the Capitol Visitor Center. We are now over in the Capitol. This is what this area looks like. All right, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure how good this video will be because just kind of, look at those. This is a huge place. Oh, wow. It is very nice having a tour guide though because they know exactly where to go 
United States Capitol Visitor Center right over here on this wall. And we get to like cut the line maybe? Yeah, definitely. They have a lot of statues around. And then a restaurant over here. This is a big place. Then he takes you and you get a little pass that shows the time already. It's a sticker, so you take it off and put it on your shirt. Oh, this is the Statue of Freedom that you see on top of the Capitol. But it's just a model replica. Welcome to Exhibition Hall. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on in here. They also have an audio tour available. James Madison. Now this is the desk used during the signing of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Pen used by President Lyndon B. Johnson. Speaker of the House's chair. So this is a big spot that you could um, go around and see a bunch of items. Here we have a 9-11 timeline. Here is the tape recorder used from Watergate. Watergate security officer's log. Just another view of it here. Hey, it's a Sony. Artifacts recovered from Pearl Harbor. The Titanic disaster. So during the Civil War in Gilded Age, so the age of Benedict, Rockefeller, Carnegie, the big tycoon titans of the time. Clock was used in the House of Representatives. So this clock has seen the antitrust acts of the past during the time to break up the big oil monopolies. One of the desks used, Senate chamber desk, 100 desks used on the floor of the Senate chamber, and um, it was the earliest 48 desks date back to 1819, when there were only 22 states. These items are from the first Congress. So there's a journal, a chair, and a chair. That's the House chair, Senate chair. Thomas Jefferson could have sat in one of these chairs. So the war is by the hand, and he was hoping to unify the country and heal the books. Table used by President Abraham Lincoln. Wow. So this was a table used during President Abraham Lincoln's second inauguration. Here are some little maps that show what the Capitol looked like when it was first built. And then as it progressed on, this is 1814, so that was prior to 1814. This is 1814 to 1851. 1851 to 1877. Wow. 1877 to 1930. And then 1932 to today. Look at the Capitol Dome. He's getting ready to take us upstairs to see the real Capitol Dome. So yeah, this is a nice little exhibit that you can walk around and see some pretty cool stuff. Heading up this elevator. This is where we were just a little bit ago. Now we're gonna go up the stairs. Wow, look at this room.
So right here is the spot that George Washington was going to be buried until he changed it. But this is the spot they had for him here. And all four corners of the city, now you can't really see it, but all four corners of the city meet right there. The statues are famous people from each state. So like there was a Jefferson statue and stuff and they can either be bronze or marble. And then like Abraham Lincoln's over there. Here's a diagram of the National Mall. Zoomed out so you can see how many people are up here and kind of the design of it. So you can see Stark, New Hampshire. Of course, Abraham Lincoln right here. Lincoln's son said this was the most accurate depiction of Lincoln. Now we're gonna head to the Supreme Court. These tours are helpful because if you're by yourself, you don't really know what you're looking at and may not know all of the information or where to go. Supreme Court Chamber, 1810 to 1860. The old Supreme Court chamber. This is where you would hang your coats and robes when going into a session. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is really cool. He just said there is a basketball court up by the roof. That's pretty neat. Look at this. $30 million. Hey, look where we popped out. Right where we just were. Massachusetts, Samuel Adams. Check out these floors they have. Heading this way. These are the stairs that the president takes when he's walking out for inauguration day. And he goes right out these doors. But it's pretty cool we get to walk down the same stairs as the president does. Oh, wow. Look at this room. We are zooming out here just to show you this incredible room. Real paintings here. Look up at the ceiling. This is unbelievable. Here we have Harry Truman. We did the Truman White House and Key West tour, which was awesome. Of course, being from Missouri. Another Lincoln statue. There's Grant. Over here we have the Washington statue and the Jefferson statue. This is pretty unbelievable. Here we have Reagan and also Eisenhower. The bottom of the Reagan statue is made out of the Berlin Wall. Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, his office right through here. So he was trying to get us in here, but Mike Johnson is actually having a meeting right now. 
Each of these rooms are just so amazing. Look at this. More statues. So this room was actually the first house of representatives where they met. Over here we do have Nebraska, so Nebraska is chief standing bear. Right here is where John Quincy Adams' desk was located. So apparently the speaker of the house room, you can see the whole city from, and that's what he was trying to show us, but of course again they're having meetings, so. This is a pretty cool room. Here we have Florida. Rosa Parks. It's crazy to think about John Quincy Adams, Thomas Jefferson, all of them in here. They were in here, that is just, that's unbelievable. All right, so now we're just kind of walking back the path we came through. These rooms are beautiful. Also, as far as time goes, it's currently three o'clock, so it's been an hour. Oh, look, here's the expensive chandelier up close. We are in the old Senate chamber. It's so awesome to see this. of George Washington I was talking about and that, that is where uh, a New York Senator would have their portrait taken. Wow. The Senate chamber was 1810 to 1859. Currently heading down these stairs now. All right, we're heading back and I think we might then get to go sit in on a session, which I really doubt I can film, but... There's been a couple instances where people tell me to <laughs> no photos or videos, so. House gallery check-in. I think it did say no photos or videos, but we'll find out. So that was awesome. We got to go up to the house gallery. They were voting on some stuff, talking about some stuff. You cannot bring any electronics in there though, just so you know. The cool thing about the house gallery is that is where the State of the Union is at. So we got to see the actual spot where the president gives the State of the Union address. Now we get to go check out the Senate gallery. We also couldn't film in the Senate gallery, but we got to see some famous senators walk in and vote. So we saw Senator Rick Scott and Senator Elizabeth Warren. Looks like we are wrapping up the tour. It's been two hours, just so you know. We've got to head over to the Library of Congress because our tour is starting. Going on our little ride back. Love this hallway as we're heading out. Our tour guide, Chris, did a fantastic job. Now we are back where we started. All right, back outside. It's pretty crazy. We took an underground little rail car all the way over here to the Capitol. So that was really awesome. That was the tour of the Capitol building. Would recommend getting a personal tour guide like that, going through a senator to do it. We got to see the House Gallery, which is where the State of the Union takes place. And also some senators. We got to see uh, Senator, senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Rick Scott, as well as others voting on something. And Chris, our tour guide, did a fantastic job on showing us where everything was at. It was worth it. It was really cool. Yeah, it was really neat. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.